Hey everybody. So, um, I'm at home. Uh, I was gonna actually do, um, a vlog earlier when I was on my lunch break. Excuse me, but I was running errands. I went to a few furniture stores and, um, I just didn't have the time. And then uh, I had a crazy, it wasn't really crazy. It was a really bad accident. Cause usually I would do it on the way home, but I was kind of in the mood, I was in my feelings. And I passed by a really bad accident. And so I was just like praying. And I was like, you know what, I just need to, that was my ankle if you heard that pop. I was just like, I really just need to um, get home. You know, but um, anyway, um, the other day, my cousin sent me a message asking who this guy was, and um, I saw it and I said, Did something happen to him? and she was like, No, he's in a group that I'm in. Um, on social media uh how old is he and i told her i think he's a few years younger than me and then i sent it i was like you know what's up you know and she was like no that's you shoot your shot i personally have known this guy for over 10 years um and we have somewhat of a history we have somewhat of a history, and um, I was like, <laughs> I'm retired. Ain't no, ain't no shooting shots over here, Chief. So, um, like I said, that was a few days ago, maybe like Wednesday. So, today, I was um, on my phone. I said, I'm going to send this to him so he can get a good laugh out of this. Because if somebody would have sent that to me, you know, like about somebody. I know I've been like, oh, like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he, no, I sent it to him and he said, uh, what did he say? Well, shoot your shot then. And that completely took me by surprise. Um, because I was like, I expected him to laugh, LOL, whatever, whatever. I'm not good at engaging like that. I'm just, I'm really shy. I can flirt all day, every day. All day, every day. Um, but this is somebody that I have a history with. Somebody, I haven't had feelings for him in a long time, but it's like, it could still be there. Um, so, yeah. So, I called one of my best friends and, bless her heart, <laughs> she tried to help me with the answer, but I was like, I don't, I don't think this, I don't think this the flicks. So, I was like, oh, let me go. It's going to work, babe. Because, I would do <laughs> <laughs> because I would do that. I asked my little uh, boo at work about a real boo. Because, y'all, I just, I don't have it. I'm so super shy that I just, that, that's there. And if I really like, I can flirt all day. I can flirt with anybody. I can flirt with any man. Look good. Understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but. If I really like you, like, I can't even flirt with you because it's like this, like, this real. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, this real deal. So, I, um, I go and I ask him. He give me, like, a real legit answer. Like, you know, he was like, I feel you. Like, you want to do it like this, but you still want to keep your femininity about you. Yes, that's exactly what I want, boo. Thank you. I appreciate it. So he gives me the answer of saying, um, you know, I just wanted to see um, if that was cool with you. 
I really thought you had forgot about me since we ain't talked in a minute. You don't want me. Excuse me. And this is not, this is grapefruit juice, y'all. Um, I like these glasses, so I drink everything in these glasses. I know it look like Alize right now. <laughs> But it's not, because baby feels the LSA. This uh, little vlog would be a whole other different way. I'd be like, <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> but no, that's not what that, oh, I need. Okay, it's fine. But that's what he said. You don't want me. Like I said, y'all, I know this guy. He can flirt with you if he likes you if he doesn't like you and he likes to go like back and forth I'm gonna see how far I can take it um, when he said that I said oh this is the same guy from a few years ago when it comes to this because you've grown and you've evolved in other places I've watched him grow and evolve in other places but this you still the same so I said, we're not going to do this war of wits. We're not. Um, if I was younger, if it was back in the day, I would have went back and forth with him. Like I could have went, you know, let's, let's see how far this can go until I get tired. But I can't do that now. I don't have the energy or time. So I told him, uh, you know, I'm just be honest with you. Um, you. It's not just about wanting you because you have a lot. You have your family. You have... Um, your your career you have a lot it's not even about you it's about am i am i if have i grown enough as a woman spiritually financially physically to handle myself and everything that comes along with you you know like it's it's deep you know, y'all out here just looking for stuff all willy-nilly, but can the person that you looking for, that you going after, handle everything that you got in themselves? You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I told him, you know, if you want to get to know me better, uh, on another level, the ball's in your court. He replies right back and says, you know, I'm in a gray area with someone, um, and I want to, I'm trying to see where they go. me no problem just like we in church take your time because the next time you hit me up i don't care if i'm single as a dollar bill and my phone is dry it's the sahara desert i don't got nothing for you i know my worth i know better than to sit up and wait on any man back in the day you could have got me to wait you could have. And unbeknownst to you, I waited. I waited for you for a long time. I remember the exact moment. I remember the day that I was like, wait a minute, I think I got feelings. Like I remember the day I called him. And I was like, I think it's more than liking him. But see, I didn't fall in love with you. I fell in love with your potential. And the dangerous thing about falling in love with somebody's potential is they may not ever reach it. And so, what are you really in love with? You're in love with an idea. You're in love with the thought. Unfortunately, thoughts are just thoughts. Um... I was really prepared to just come home and sulk. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I passed a really bad wreck, a really bad wreck on the way home. And when I saw it, I immediately started praying. And I, I pray that they are okay and everybody involved is okay. But after I finished praying, I wasn't even upset anymore. Because I thought about it. I paid all my bills today. And I ain't got a lot of money left, but I got a little bit. 
I give me a little burger so understand all my bills. I ain't tricking. I ain't talking about nobody that is. I ain't trapping. I ain't talking about you. I'm just saying what I'm saying. The legal way. Because I ain't got time to go to jail and fight nobody. Understand? But I can't even be like, you know, I'm doing this out by myself. This is nobody but God and His grace. And I have so much to be thankful for. I can't get in my feelings behind no guy. <laughs> I was sure I'm about to say something else, but I can't get in my feelings. I can't chase no man. I can't. What I look like chasing a man? Huh? Men are natural predators. They're natural hunters. They naturally chase. And um, it's kind of cowardly. To, to insinuate that I would have to chase you. I can't provide for you. I can't um, cover you. I don't have the strength to. I wasn't made to. God made you to do that for me. So when you chasing me, you seeing, Lord, this is the woman that I want. This is the woman that I need. I can cover you in prayer. I can make sure that our household is together. You, you get the finances together and then I work it where we good on this end but you the head of the household and you want me to chase you do that even make sense and I'm really hurt because you're older that's that's what's so like you should know better and you know how I am this ain't our first rodeo But it is what it is. Because life. Because life. I can't even be mad. I'm too blessed to be stressed. Then, when I got in, my downstairs neighbor across the way was outside. And we chopped it up for a little bit. You know? He wants to flirt. And y'all know it ain't nothing to a pimp. <laughs> so I'm gonna flirt right back. How you doing? I ain't even say bye. I was so cold. I said, mm hmm. Turns around. So you can watch me walk away. <laughs> I can't. Like, I can't even be. I can't even be mad. I can't. Mm -mm. I got too much going. I got work tomorrow. Catch me in between the bags, y'all. Uh -uh. It's sad. It's it's sad to me because I know that there's some things what you know about that. What you I'm sorry, y'all. I got my radio on. Every time I hear what you know about that, I always think about one of my favorite love stories, ATL. I already look like I'm going to do hood red things with my hood red friends. <laughs> but I love ATL. I used to watch it. ATL came out like 2005, 2006, I think. Maybe even 2004. But anyway, I was a sophomore on the yard. I used to watch that movie every single night. I was in love with Tip. Excuse me. I want to be new new so bad, but I just thought that, that was just such a cute hood love story. New new. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. I'm disappointed. Um in the guy. Yeah, I'm about to cut this off because I don't like long vlogs. It gotta be like something for real, for real. But I'm disappointed because I thought, you know. I really thought you had grown and matured, but you gonna stay chasing and you gonna stay choosing the wrong one because you letting, I don't know about your other ones, but I know what I bring to the table and what I offer, but it is what it is. Like I said, um, God know my heart and he knows the type of man that I want. And the type of man that I need. And if you ain't it, you ain't it. It's cool. 
no love lost i still see you and be like what's up because we have we have a past y'all like we got history i'm gonna always i'm gonna always love this man i will and he has made me really upset like he's really he's had my feelings before but i'm gonna always have love for him because i know he got a good heart it's crazy but yeah it is what it is so that's enough of that i'm gonna finish off my grapefruit juice and i'm gonna go over here and finish watching this movie and then i'm gonna get up and uh get ready for work tomorrow <sighs> same thing different day but anyway y'all have a good one i love y'all and I'll talk to you later.